So here we're doing a comparison of an old Hamilton 212 3.4 impeller on the left and a new Marine Power slash Solus impeller on the right. Everyone seems pretty impressed with the Marine Power impeller so I thought I'd buy one and just do a comparison. And the way these uh, impellers work is this is the front of the impeller so the water flows this way and the impeller rotates that way. So if you look at these blades, this side of this blade is going to be high pressure and this will be kind of low pressure. And so the water's flowing this way and you can see on this old 3.4 there's a significant overlap between this blade and this blade and they're actually pretty close together. And on the marine power impeller, uh, this, this gap is much bigger and it, it almost looks like this blade is an extension of that blade with a, you know, with a big gap between there. Whereas uh, this one really, these two blades are so far apart that they're, they don't really seem related at all. So that's probably the biggest difference that I see. And to remove that difference, if the 3.4 rotated this second set of impellers that way, you know, I don't know, 20 degrees or something, then this would be a lot more similar to that. So that, that might be a, uh, something that would be easy to, to test if somebody wants to try that. I don't feel like it, but if somebody else wants to, they could see if that helps. Um, other differences are uh, there seems to be more twist in the old 3.4 impeller, so that there's more twist at the leading edge here, and where this one is relatively flat, and the same down here on, on these, so there's more twist. So the Solus will pressurize this leading edge a little bit more right away where the uh, 3.4 Hamilton, uh, it, it's not going to come up to pressure until a little way up this, uh, up this impeller. So that may be different. And then the, uh, the Solus actually starts a little closer to the very front of the impeller. So this blade begins earlier than this one. So the overall uh, effective length of the impeller pair is increased in the Solus impeller. And otherwise they're pretty much the same. You know the diameter at this, this end is the same. The diameter here is about the same. So my guess is it's mostly this offset is, is different. So probably the Solus guys have a, a couple of um, hydraulic flow experts and uh, some sort of CFD program. So they're uh, just plug it in little fixes and little tweaks here and there and add them up and it turns into a whole lot. So anyway, I've got to install this uh, new Solus impeller and uh, take it out for a run and see what happens. Uh, hopefully it'll be good. Here we are looking at uh, things from a slightly different angle. You can see that the Solus impeller starts a little higher than the 3.4 and the bottom set of blades is rotated that way. So, so this gap is relatively small, where this gap is relatively big. You know, and otherwise the differences are, are minor. Uh, I don't know enough about CFD and what you can do with a with computer nowadays to dial in the, uh, the design, but apparently the Solus guys have got it down.